Were you drafted or did you enlist? I enlisted. Where were you living at the time? At the time that I first enlisted, I was living in San Diego, California. But then I moved back to Greenbrier, Arkansas for my last year of high school. Then briefly moved back to San Diego for my last couple of months before going into the Army. And that was uh, delayed entry during my last year of high school, then active duty, fresh out of high school. Why did you join? Uh, basically, my, my family has a long tradition of serving in the military. My grandfather was a Korean War veteran. Both my father and my stepfather both served in, on board submarines in the Navy. I had an uncle that uh, served in the Army in Germany. Uh, my older brother was a member of the Arkansas National Guard, and he deployed to Panama. Uh, then I eventually joined the Army myself, and then afterwards joined the Navy. And right now, I even have a, a younger brother who's in the Arkansas National Guard serving right now. Why did you pick the service branch you joined? Well, for me, it was a toss-up between the Army and the Navy, and eventually I, I enlisted in, in both. But my junior year of, of high school, when I was in, living in San Diego, I was involved in a junior ROTC program at, at Morse High School in San Diego, and that was an Army high school ROTC program. I basically fell in love with the uniform, so I thought, well, since I'm used to the Army, used to the Army uniform, I wanted to do it for real, so I joined the Army. Do you recall your first days in service? Oh, well, yes, actually. This was, uh, what, almost... 15, 16 years ago, but I still remember uh, see if I remember correctly. So I was in San Diego, say that last night in a hotel that the Army paid for. Then they sent us to uh, Fort Knox, Kentucky. And basically for, for me, I was a tank driver in the Army. So for me, basic training and the follow-on training was all combined into, into one uh, period of like 16 weeks. So basically we had the same drill sergeants the whole way through. So for the first couple of weeks it was nothing but, but uh, getting our shots, getting our medical records, our in, indoctrination and all the rest of that. So it was basically two weeks of just sitting around doing nothing, doing work details, watching TV, waiting for boot camp to start. The thing is that, that most of us that didn't know any better thought that that was boot camp. Well, it, it was, and it was just uh, two weeks of doing doing nothing. And then boot camp started, and then we met our real drill sergeants. They showed up, and they had us all lined up, sitting on our, our, sitting on our duffel bags, not really knowing what was about to happen. You see these big, huge drill sergeants just come around the corner, and we knew that we were in trouble. <laughs> How did you get through basic training? Well, there was, of course, basic training for the Army and basic training for the Navy. And for the, for the Army, it was basically in four stages, what they call the uh, red phase, black phase, green phase, and yellow phase. I believe that's what it is. So for the red phase, it was nothing but the boot camp stuff, the marching, the running, marching around the big heavy rucksacks everywhere that we went to get us physically trained. And once we got past that and moved into black phase, we got into more of the, the specifically the tank training. After that it was green phase, and green phase was nothing but the tank training. We were basically done with the boot camp phase. So everything started to relax at that point. So we got to go to the, the base theater and things like that. that any normal boot camp graduate would be able to do. We were allowed to do that because technically we're, we were out of boot camp, but we still had to go through the training for the tanks. And the yellow phase was nothing but us cleaning up the barracks and getting ready to go for our first duty assignment. So and that was the Army, and we basically got through it by simply working together as a, as a platoon. The Navy was different. For me, it was boot camp all over again, but because I had already served four years in the Army, it was basically old news to me. So everything that happened, including the two weeks of 
of the in-dock training where nothing really happened. And then all of a sudden they hit us full force with all the physical exercises and everything. I was I already knew what to expect, so it didn't really phase me. And even though everybody else was in shock, they didn't know what to do. But it was easy for me. <laughs> Which war did you serve in? I, well, I served in Operation Iraqi Freedom, but because of the, the nature of our, our deployment to the Persian Gulf, I served on board the USS Vandegrift. It was essentially a combination of both enduring freedom missions plus Iraqi freedom missions, basically all at the same time. And sometimes you were even doing multiple things all at once. Uh, in particular, I remember uh, a mission where we had some of our sailors boarding a suspected vessel, whatever they were suspected of, they didn't tell the rest of the crew that. We actually had to, to leave them there and then sail off about 20 miles away to do a completely separate mission while we had these people boarded on board this suspected vessel completely alone, having to do that mission by themselves. Uh, I also was on board the USS Ford and we conducted counter narcotics operations to Central and South America. And that one got me a little bit, I know that's not really a, a, a wartime deployment, but we did get to chase drug runners all over the place. But what upset me about that particular deployment is that these drug runners would take these immigrants, basically, put them on a barely seaworthy vessel, let it get close to sinking. They, they'd abandoned them knowing that we would go to rescue the, the innocent civilians while the drug runners got away. They did that like twice on us. And that is something that really, really upset me. They would be willing to put people's lives in danger just so they can get away with uh, running drugs.